Thank you, Tessa. Taking a look now over South Haven, we do have the white caps that have started to develop all thanks to our strong gusty winds. Those are going to hang around all day today, but at least we get that sunshine. This is a look over South Haven where you can hardly see a cloud in the sky. A similar view over Muskegon as well. This is going to be the perfect day to spend near the lakeshore, especially since the white caps are just going to be so stunning and capturing the sunset later this evening will also be phenomenal. But don't forget a very warm jacket because fact Factoring in the wind, it feels very, very cold. This is a look over the Chicago skyline, a very similar view as well with hardly cloud in the sky. And of course, whenever we have that sunshine, it always makes for a great day. But the winds currently, they are firing up from the southwest. A wind gust of 31 miles per hour in Holland and Grand Rapids, 36 now in South Haven, and they are going to become stronger throughout the day. We have a wind advisory in effect until 8 p.m. this evening. Sustained winds between 20 to 30 miles per hour wind gusts ranging between 50 to 55 miles per hour later on today. This is where we could see isolated power outages down tree limbs are also a concern. And if you have your trash can closer to the road, I would recommend bringing that in. As for our satellite and radar, you can see that we have mostly clear skies, hardly a cloud in the moment in our atmosphere. But as we take a closer look and a wider view actually to our low pressure system, you can see that there is a much colder air mass towards the northwest. That's what's going to be filtering and we are not expected to have the widespread snow showers that the Northwest is seeing now, but we could see some minor precipitation leading into tomorrow. Those temperatures are also really dropping across the area. The 30s for parts of Wisconsin, but the 40s here in West Michigan, 43 degrees in Holland, 47 degrees in Kalamazoo, 42 in Big Rapids, and the feels like temperatures are only in the 30s because of the winds, and they're only going to feel cooler as we continue throughout the day and as those winds get stronger. Longer. Our day planner calls for temperatures largely staying in the mid to upper 40s. Stronger winds, but holding on to the mostly sunny skies. And tonight, temperatures will remain in the 30s. It's also going to remain breezy, which is going to make the feels like temperatures mainly in the 20s. As for our future track, we have the partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies today. Leading into tomorrow, there's a small chance that we could see a passing shower or two, primarily along and towards the south of I-96. And when it comes to precipitation, it will be very light rain. We could see a wintry mix as well, but the majority of precipitation will be light rain showers with a lot of Grand Rapids, Muskegon and Big Rapids remaining dry throughout the day tomorrow. Partly cloudy skies settle in for the weekend. We're also going to see the colder air last for this Easter weekend as well. So if you are going to be doing some Easter egg hunting, I highly recommend a warmer jacket as well. Temperatures are largely going to be much cooler for the next couple of days. But as we take a look between April 21st and April 27th, warmer than average conditions will return. Our super seven day planner calls for a high temperature 40 degrees on Saturday, 49 degrees for Easter Sunday and the chance of some precipitation on Monday and Wednesday. Stay tuned to Fox 17 for your latest forecast. And remember, you can always download the Fox 17 weather app.